My dear Dokita Damages, I have watched your videos with rapt attention since its first episode. Whilst some of it is reactionary positions have come under corrosive objurgating, it has on the whole played a stabilizing role and positioned itself as a positive agglutinating force at critical moments in my views towards democratic infantilism of Nigeria. And it is for this reason that it would be utterly sad if you allow your video to be mired, quarantined, decapitated, and rendered pusillanimous at the database of your YouTube. Nigerian music and movie industries need to change their modus operandi from that drug, sex, and rock and roll stuff to preaching your diagnostic gospel about the illnesses of this uh, bad luck Jonathan, the executive thieves, legislators. This modus operandi of juris D sharing the national cake among the cabals. Please, doctor, don't stop what you are doing. To fear qua. Because if you do, it will be sardonic, logoborious, dismal, abysmal to fix capability where capability is. God will always continue to protect all Sahara reporters as they embark on diagnosing Nigerians' filthy sickness. In Jesus' name, amen. KK. Introducing Dr. Jackery Damages. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York City. Yeah. New York City is so great that we started a bike sharing program. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's called City Bike. Right. This is how it works. You go to a bike station by the corner, pick up a bike, and ride from point A to point B. Yeah, okay. that's it. And you leave it there, and another biker will pick it up. But, but uh, New York being what it is, people are also leaving their viruses and bacteria with the bike. Yeah. Right. The program is still in its first week, but already people are leaving STD. Oh. It's someone like you, I think. STD. Yeah? Yeah. But trust our mayor, he's on the case. <laughs> Here is him threatening to deal with those people. Watch. Who wrote this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who left that crap? Only in New York City. Mm. Now, it's graduation time in America. I don't know where you are. It's graduation time everywhere. And, yeah. and with graduation comes commencement speeches. Mm. The best speech of this season so far was the one given by President Obama. Obama. Yeah, yeah. At, at Morehouse College in Atlanta. Watch. I will say it betrays a poverty of ambition if all you think about is what goods you can buy instead of what good you can do. Woo! Yeah. Yes, yes, very inspiring. The worst one so far was the one given by President Goodluck Jonathan in Abuja, Nigeria. What? Next year by this time, I don't know, probably they will ask me to say something or not. If I will talk, I think I may speak for about two hours. But if I'm asked not to talk, I will only do what I probably I'll be asked to do. <laughs> please, please, Ruben, eh? Ruben, Madam. Madam Patience, if you are the one who tells this man when to talk and when not to talk, please, please do us a big favor. This time next year, tell him not to. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Are there single ladies in the house? Yeah. Yeah. All single ladies. All single ladies. I have got great news for you all. The Russian president, Vladimir Putin, is single again. Yes, yes, yes. He announced it on national TV this week. The man is still full of energy, you know, and he can easily take care of any woman in the world. Hey. If I'm a matchmaker, I will hook him up with uh, Condi. Yes, Condoleezza Rice. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Look, look at the picture of the two. No, 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 not that one. Eh? No, change that picture. The other one. The other, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes. Don't they look adorable? 
Oh yeah, <laughs> it will do USA a lot of good, you know, if there is that kind of relationship between Russia and America. It will be a slam dunk for this US new idea of outreach to other countries. Mm -hmm. Talking about outreach, the US government has placed a $7 million bounty on the head of Boko Haram leader, Abubakar Shekau. Wow. Mm -hmm. Not to be left out, Boko Haram sect has placed a bounty on 24's Jack Bar. Oh. Mm -hmm. Boko Haram bounty consists of three camels, two cows, uh -huh. and six packs of lubricated premium strawberry scented condoms with moist teeth. Oh mm. Don't ask me how I know the brand so well. <laughs> I'm sure you must have heard that Nigerian soldiers who sacked Boko Haram members from their camps in Medugri found used and unused condoms yeah. everywhere, everywhere. For all the talks about the evils of Western education, those gentlemen understand the need to use condoms. Mm, right. You have to give it to them, which is, I think, is a very smart thing of them. They just don't want to transmit their ignorance. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> did, did I say ignorance? No, 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 not ignorance. No, no. Right. They don't want to transmit their arrog arrogance. <laughs> did I say? What's, what's wrong with my eyes? They don't want to transmit their innocence. Yeah. <laughs> smart move. Smart move. You know, the gentlemen tried the three popular birth control pills they grew up with, but they didn't work. Mm. One was applying uh, um, onion juice uh, on their thing before, before action. <laughs> the second one was uh, licking uh, camel's uh, saliva before action. So, yeah, mm -hmm. it doesn't work anymore. And the third one, reserved for the higher ups, was just wearing a goat bladder. Imagine that, goat bladder, you know, before they, yeah. Yucky, yeah, yeah. So, so you don't blame them because they have to embrace something and they embrace the condoms. Now, now, this nosy, nosy Al Jazeera reporter asked a Boko Haram runaway, why the inconsistency? Eh? Why will you embrace Western values and reject Western education? Look at the interview. Assalatu wa salamu ala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabi wa man tabi ahum bi ihsani ila yawm al-deen wa baada assalamu alaykum ya ayyuhal mudahidun Now, now, I will translate for you all, you know. The man said it wasn't about sex at all. He said they were doing research, that their research and development department was just working on developing a new generation of condoms. He said they were hoping to win a hundred thousand grants from the Bill Gates Foundation for this project. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Still on Boko Haram, the federal government has banned the group. No more. Finally, Boko Haram is banned. Yeah. How destructive that must be, you know? The group just finished photocopying their registration certificates. And they were they were hanging it in their on their caves, you know, on the wall of their caves. In fact, the company in Israel that won the contract to make their new, brand new ID cards is about to start printing when the ban was announced. Hey. Eh? Wow. This is terrible. Now, some good news. Nigeria's own Aligo Tangote is on top of Ford's list of the richest men in Africa. Yay. Yeah, yeah. He has a combined fortune of $25 billion. Wow. He's now the 25th richest man in the world. Hey. Are you not impressed? Yeah. In spite of his success, the man still fears the possibility that General Buhari might become the president of Nigeria. <laughs> his fear is more than that of the Christian Association of Nigeria. Hmm? Just last week, when General Buhari's poster started appearing all over Abuja, Dangote moved one of his cement companies to Tanzania. Just, just in case, you know, just in case. But, but why is that? Eh? Why? Anyway, Dangote doesn't have to worry about Buhari anymore. Buhari granted Delhi Trust newspaper an interview, and that possibility of him ever becoming president of Nigeria drifted further and further and further away. Mm. <laughs> Which is the reason why our dear pastor, Pastor hey. Enoch Adeboye of the Amen. Redeemed Christian Church of God says he doesn't make public comments. Mm. Yeah, the man of God says he does not like to influence people. Yes, he doesn't like to influence people. Influencing people is a terrible thing to do. Yeah. But um, Adeboyo is just satisfied with ordering his church members not to marry outside the church. <laughs> In sports news, Nigeria's super egos, 
defeated the Harambe of Kenya. In... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kenya has not been known for soccer, you know, but their new president invested a lot of money and, and capital in this. After the game, <laughs> Uhuru Kenyatta told his countrymen and women, okay, Nigeria may be good at soccer, but let them bring their president. Let me debate him. <laughs> let me debate him with his PhD, that Ojolaba PhD. Okay. If it were when I used to play soccer, eh? when I used to play soccer. Anyway. Wow. Now, seriously, the thing I really want to talk about today is Michael Douglas. Mm. Eh? In just one statement, that man shoved into the trash can 50 years of women liberation. Hey. Wow. I bet you had it. Mm. You heard about it. Yeah. This man said that going down causes throat cancer. Mm. Hey. Imagine, imagine. Something that I have told to one that is just an urban myth. Michael Douglas now made it a legend. Soon after he made the statement, Shaniqua, Sherika, and Tarika have all been texting me and saying the same thing. Nigga, I told you so. Nigga, I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Michael Douglas used to be a man's man. Hmm? He used to say that greed is good. Hmm? The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is good. I, however, became suspicious of that man, that all is not well, when, as American president, he made this excuse as to why he might not perform very well. You know, watch. Any expectations that you might have, given the fact that I'm, you know... The most powerful man in the world. Exactly, thank you. I think it's important you remember that's a political distinction that comes with the office. I mean, if... Uh... Eisenhower were here instead of me, he'd be dead by now. Yeah, he said there's a distinction between being the most powerful man in the world and uh, they are doing the other thing. <laughs> Michael, 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 listen to me. We men, we understand if your thing is not working anymore. We, we understand. But must you ruin it for all of us? Eh? Must you? What kind of greed is that? Come on, Michael, come on. You have had your fill. Let us speak from the crumbs you left behind. Eh? We sent one of our finest reporters to the streets of New York City to ask New Yorkers what do they think about this Michael's effort to end people going down. Here are the reactions. Do you think oral sex can cause any type of throat cancer? No, not at all. I mean, it can give you uh, herpes, but <laughs> that's all about I. That's all that I know. Okay. Well, personally, I'm not a doctor, but I don't think if you're not a doctor, you should be spreading things if you don't have the facts behind it to back it up. You know, oral sex can be wonderful. I do think you should use protection while doing it, but you know. Now, what about you? Know Michael Douglas is the one that's saying all of this. What do you guys think about a celebrity coming out and just saying, "Oh, I have throat cancer from oral sex." Or just another stupid celebrity saying something. I mean, they always say these ridiculous, you know, thing, comments. But celebrities have followings and they're role models and shouldn't be spreading things that they don't can't back up professionally. Now, yeah. Now, here are the news stories making headlines in Nigerian newspapers this week. I want to end up like Adedibu says a former governor, Alao Akala. <laughs> What are you waiting for, my man? Simply apply more bleaching cream and you'll be like, you'll be there. You'll be there. <laughs> the Nigerian Drug Enforcement Agency to search private jets for drugs reports a uh, punch newspaper. Uh -huh. If there is any chance of that happening, the Nigerian stock market will collapse. Because they, those people are all drug dealers. <laughs> President Jonathan's midterm report named OPC, Masob, and Boko Haram as security threats. There was no mention of men. So, who is your daddy now? Who is your daddy? <laughs> Nigeria loses 965 billion naira annually to oil theft, says Shell. They should know they pump the garden tin out for the tips. <laughs> President Jonathan has no intention of probing Obasanjo, says Ruben Abati. So, uh, uh, Ruben, can we, we the people, can we probe him? <laughs> the 16 billion spent dollars spent on power. Can we probe him? Yeah. <laughs> I did not plan to be the chairman of Governor's Forum, 
says Governor Jang of Plateau State. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did not I did not plan to laugh at this comment. <laughs> I swear, I swear. <laughs> we should move from door to door to preach peace, says Patience Jonathan. What? Hey, to no be no be me and you. I live for Boko Haram territory. I know they come near any door. <laughs> she also said that listen to her. The women of Nigeria is high time that we need to talk to our children at home and advise them to show all evil behavior. Soldiers are our children. <laughs> Boko Haram members are our children. Militants are our children. A and then she added, President Jonathan is our children. <laughs> 2015, Anini calls for automatic tickets for Jonathan and governors, reports the Vanguard. Why not? Let's just cancel the election and save 200 billion naira. Right. Come on, Anini, come on. Ah. <laughs> I've always said turning a mathematician into a pastor takes only God, says Pastor Enoch Adeboye. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, I understand that. Turning an engineer into a taxi driver takes the United States of America. <laughs> okay, okay, I said it. I used to drive a cab. Do you have a problem with that? Do you? <laughs> I've done well, says President Jonathan. <laughs> yes, sir. You did well, my man. You did well. <laughs> now, can we try other people? Eh? <laughs> can we? <laughs> it's time for your. Yeah. Yeah. A love letter. Wadada, wadada, love letter. Wadada, wadada, hey. Do we have emails today? Yes, we do, Doctor. A lot of emails. Okay, let's hear them. Okay. Our first email is from Mosun Mola Jackos in Saudi Arabia. She wrote, Dear Doctor, I just finished watching episode 91. My suggestion is that you try to increase the show time to at least 30 minutes so it would look standard. I love the way you started today. It was so interesting in my regards to your nurse. Oh, Moshimola, thank you so much for watching. This request to increase the show time comes all the time. Yes. Yeah. I talked to the management of uh, our, our TV network, and, and they said this is all they could do for you. Watch. Next. <laughs> Our second email is from Stephen Noakwe. Noakwe? Noakwe. 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 Okay. okay. Our second email is from Stephen Noakwe. He writes, Dear Dr. Damages, I did hail you and the tomato jokes by your side. She's too much for my eyes. Doctor, I want to salute you for the good work you they do. I did salute all the Sahara Reporters team. I say you not too much. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now, now you, he they call a uh, tomato juice. I don't know what tomato, does that mean. Tomato juice. That's hey, your people. Hey. What does that mean? The man, the man. Now me, let me talk. And the man talk about. Last week you were Monica from uh, Kaduna. Today now tomato juice. What will you be tomorrow? I'll be Princess Diana. Ah, uh -uh, now cano carrots. <laughs> <laughs> now cano carrots. <laughs> Next. Our third email is from John Imafadon. He writes. Okay. I have a dream that one day, the fearless Shawari will be the president of Nigeria. Rudolph will be the secretary to the government. Adiola, the vice president, and Dr. Damages, the chairman of Governor's Forum. Jokes. <laughs> Since everybody's making jokes of your assistant, I will not be an exception. I found out that you are a little far from your assistant on the last episode. Is it because... <laughs> Is it because she was too hot in her ways that you did not want her to burn you? Nigeria problems are too much to forget. But if you give me your assistant phone number, I will forget them. <laughs> ah, John, John, John. Eh? <laughs> you know, uh, why your man die and why your man bury him? But um, first of all, John, John, let me, let me, let me listen to me. I thought we were cool. Eh? Why are you dissing me like this? <laughs> eh? You want me to be governor while that idiot... That stupid Rudolfo eh, becomes a <laughs> vice president. 
man, that is not correct. <laughs> that is not correct, man. That is not correct. <laughs> Next. Our fourth email is from Mukta Shago in Turkey. He writes, I really like the way you approach things. You are always creative, which is good, as our lovely country needs to develop people of thought like Mrs. Jonathan. Keep up the good work. You are my best. By the way, how can I contact the shining angel on your right? All my love to her. Uh -huh. Okay, Mukta, thank you so much for watching. But let me warn you, this uh, tomato just by my side is no angel. She has wings, quite all right, but she flies at night. And where she goes to, angels fear to get there. Trust me, I, I know. I don't know what he's talking Next. about. Next. Hey, our fifth email is from Aliko in Nigeria. He writes, hello to the most criticized and abused doctor in the world. Hold on. That is not correct. <laughs> that That's is another not correct. <laughs> yes. That's another doctor. Good luck. Please, I want you to lend Ibele your shades to hide his eyes, his long nights of overindulgence, and his days of mumuness. P.S. Abege, mind your big belly roll. It is growing bigger than Abati's own. Sent from my Blackberry smartphone. Hehehe. <laughs> Al Aliko, is that his name? Mm -hmm. Check very well. Do you think that you are, your phone is really smart? <laughs> I, doubt, I doubt it. Because if your phone is smart, it will know that my belly is still very small. I want it to grow big like all the other big men, uh, like me in Nigeria, like this one. <laughs> yes, and, and this one. Mm -hmm. that's, that's where I'm going to. So uh, be patient. I'm getting there. Next. Our final email is from Voke in Nigeria. He writes, Dear doctor, my name is Voke from Nigeria. I just finished watching your 91st episode. I really love your show. Believe me, you're doing great, and the numbers of viewers will add up soon. Forget that dude sitting on the toilet. <laughs> As your assistant, that babe is pretty. With the new dress, she killed it. I can't wait for her to read mails on the next episode. Please, doctor, tell her to wink for me. Thanks, and keep up the good work. Oh, another wink, wink addict. Eh? Oh. Another wink addict. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wink for him. Doctor, my boyfriend wink, said no. Which boyfriend? Wink no for more, him. No this more. No more important. These are gentlemen. No more winks. Tomato Joss, wink no for him. No more winks, doctor. Are you sure you want to come back next week? Tomato yeah. Joss, wink for him. Yeah. Good, good. That's all the time we have for emails. <laughs> Please keep sending your emails to drdamages at gmail.com. If you have any complaints, send it to adiola at adiola dot adiola adiola. <laughs> Here is my concern for today. <laughs> It is taken from the book of Thomas Paine, chapter hmm. 7, starting to read from verse 7. Hmm. It says, the duty of a patriot is to protect his country from its government. Until next week, I am Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You heal yourself.